In this video, we'll be going over 1-bit and 2-bit characters. So we have two special characters. The first character can be represented by 1-bit. The second character can be represented by 2-bits, 1-0 and 1-1. Now given a string represented by several bits, return whether the last character must be 1-bit or, or not. The given string will always end with a 0. In our first example, we have 1-0-0. Zero, zero. So this is represented by two characters, 1-0, so two characters. And then our last 0 is considered as 1-bit 0, so return true. Now our second example, we have 1110. So this is represented by our second character, 11, and this is also represented by our second character, 10. So return false. The last zero is not a 1 bit zero. So let's go over the dot process. So if we iterate through from left to right, for each of the character, or for each, for each of the bit b at index i, if b is equal to 1, then it must, it must be a two character bits. It must be two bits, then we can move to index i plus 2. For example, if we're currently at this index with a value of 1, then that means we can skip 2. So we're going to skip 1, 2. So we're currently at this index. If else, then b is equal to zero, then it must be a one bit character. Then we can move to index i plus one. After performing the iteration, if our last index is at the end of the array, then it must be a one bit character. 1 bit 0. For example, if we're currently at, so if, uh, for example, if we're iterating through this. In our first um, element is equal to 1, so we jump 2 bits or 2 steps. 1, 2. So we're currently at here, and then we have reached the last index. Then it must be a 1 bit. And in this case, we're currently at 1, so we jump 2 steps. 1, 2. And we're currently here, and we have another 1, so we're going to jump 2 steps again. 1, 2, and then we're going to reach out of bound. If we, if we reach out of bound, that means it's not a 1 bit 0. So let's go over the code, uh, the pseudocode. So create a variable i to keep track of our current index. So while i is less than the last index, because we do not want to visit the last index. If the current bit is equal to 1, then we're going to move two steps. Set i to i plus 2. Else, we're going to set i to i plus 1. We're going to return true if i is at the last index. Index of bits, else return false. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. Its kind time complexity is O of n, where n is the length of the input array. And then with O of n is visit each index at most once. And our space complexity is go to O of 1. Now let's go over the code. So create our index to keep track of our current location. Our bits is la uh, less than the last index. We do not want to visit the last index. If the current bits is equal to one, then we want to increment, we want to move two steps. So increment i by two, else we just increment i by one step because it goes to zero. Then we're going to return true if i is at the last index of bits. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.